Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be learning about the File Access tab. Our File Access tab can be found right here. It looks like a filing cabinet. We can click on it to expand our side panel. Then we can click on our File Access dropdown, and we can sort between recent files, look at files in our computer itself through the Explorer, and use the BFX File Exchange. We can also reopen files from our last session. This file that I currently have open was the file that I had opened previously, so if I wanted to, I could use this to open it very quickly. Let's look at the Explorer. Here we can see that I'm literally looking inside of my PC, on my hard drive, in my documents folder, and in a folder that I made called Bluebeam. So here we can see all the different folders and files that I have in this folder. But right now, we're currently searching for only PDF files. So I can click on this dropdown, and I can switch between looking for documents in general and searching for all files that exist. I can also click on this drop down here to change my folder so I can immediately go to our desktop, computer, or documents. And I currently have this folder pinned to this area. I did that by going to this drop down right here. And I can click on this pin folder icon and it will pin the folder that you're currently inside. Let's test it right now by going inside of this guides folder. This is where I have all of the different recordings and tutorials that I make. And we can click on this drop down, click on the pin. Nothing seems to have happened, but if we go to this drop down now, we can see that we have not only the Bluebeam folder, we can switch to that one, but now I can click on this and I can go to the guides folder very quickly. Then if I want to go back a folder to the previous folder that I was just in, I can click on this backward button. So you can see that I can do that several times because I kept going back and forth between the two folders. And then the opposite of this is found in this drop down, And this is where we can go up one level to go up to a different folder. Then we can also create a new folder right here. This will literally make a new folder within Windows. And we can click on this button right here that allows us to sort between name, type, size, and date, which are all categories within Windows as well. This is kind of like an interface into Windows and allows us to organize our folders quickly without having to open the File Explorer button, which is usually found right down here. Let's click on File Access and let's look at the BFX File Exchange. This basically gives us instructions on how to use our BFX files properly. So all we have to do is select the BFX file from our provider to begin. Of course, we don't have one, so we're not going to do that right now. Let's go back to our File Access dropdown. And let's go back to recent files. Here we have our recent files, which are found right here. And we have categories. But initially, you won't see categories because you have to create them. So let's go to our recents and let's find some files that we want to pin and organize in our categories area. So we can see that if we mouse over or we don't mouse over the example floor plan that I currently have open, we can see that there's a pin icon and it's facing to the left. A few files also have this pin icon facing left, and that means that these files have already been pinned and we can see them in this category that I've called floor plans for presentations. So let's look at a file that isn't pinned. For example, we can look at this stamp that I created during training. So we can take this and we can pin it by clicking on the pin button. Right now the pin is facing down, which means that it hasn't been pinned yet. We can also add hyperlinks to these files by clicking on this green chain link icon right here. First, let's pin. And then we can choose an existing category, which I only have one right now, floor plans for presentations. So I'm going to make a new category. I'm going to call it test. And we're going to click on OK. Now we have a new category below the floor plans one. And we can start organizing files in this category for ease of use. That way, if you're cycling through over 20 different files in one day, you can find that first file that you looked at a few hours ago very quickly without having to cycle through your recents and look for it. So that's the main way of using file access. We can also click on this calendar icon and we can change it to sort by date or by folder, for example, so we can see different folders that exist in our PC. And then we can look at most accessed. So as you guys can see, I've been using the example floor plan a lot, along with this file right here, more so than the other files that are lower down on the list. Then I can click on this one more time and change it to access history. And this allows us to have a nice history of what files were opened on what day 
and this goes back pretty far. So we can look at our history pretty extensively. Let's switch it back to by date. And now we can see the recent files that we accessed just now. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the file access tab in Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.